All right, guys, this is Paul from CP Knives. Uh, what we got here to test today is the CPE HDT, uh, Heavy Duty Tactical. Uh, this knife is set up for scout carry right now. You see these holes here. Those three holes line up with a large tech lock. You see it's got a good retention. Um, this knife is made out of D2, CPM D2. And I'll show you just before we start the testing. I mean, it's, it's sharp. Okay. Um, a little bit about it. It's made out of quarter inch stock. The blade on this guy is uh, four and a quarter long. I'll, I'll give you the actual specs. We'll do a tabletop later. And it's got a, a 550 cord wrapped handle. Um, there's 10 feet of gutted paracord here and there is 15 feet of uh, filled paracord. So that, that can actually be taken off and used. Uh, what we have to test it on is instead of wood or something, we have a uh, Suburban. So let me pause this here and I'll get set up for the test. All right, so <clears throat> I'm gonna give you guys a good look here uh, at the tip of the knife. See it's intact and the edge right now uh, no chips or rolls on the edge. Uh, you'll notice that this will not be the first hole in this tailgate. Uh, there's already a hole here I kind of beat on a little bit earlier. So let's see what happens. I got a, about a three pound sledgehammer here. tip is still there. Um, this is a lot thicker than you would think it is. It doesn't go through there very easily. Tip is still there. There is some rolling right here. You can see a you can see a roll there. It's not a chip. I don't see I don't see any chips. There's, I got one roll there. I think from that last pry. And you know, of course, it's still serviceable sharp, but it's not it's not super sharp anymore. So there's the holes we're working on. Uh, this is the hole that we were working on earlier. This is a new hole. So I'm just getting it ripping through. Uh, the one thing that I want to point out too, because you, you know, this is obviously not the. Uh, oh, let's see if I can. It's kind of upside down here. Uh, first heavy duty knife I'm sure anybody's seen. 
but it's got this big guard on it, right, built in. Uh, that's one of the reasons I'm not worried about flipping it upside down and beating on it with a hammer, because when I hold it, it has got my hand, you know, fully in there. There's no chance of slipping up on the blade. Actually, not even really scratch it that much. Let's see if we'll be one more hole in there, where you guys can get a close-up look. All right, guys. So here's what we got. The after all that, the very tip of the knife did come off. It's kind of get him in there. It's kind of hard to see. I mean, the tip's still there. It's like the very little pointy part right at the top. I had kind of a fine tip. Um, you see the blade? Yeah, you get a get a look there. There's no chips in the blade. None. Um, there are some rolls, you know. I mean, I don't know what gauge that that uh, tailgate is, but you saw how many hits it takes with that, you know, two or three pound sledgehammer to get through there. So let me grab this piece of paper here. And, uh, you know, see what what's going on here. All right, and that's all the way through to the tip. And that's after, you know, I jammed him in there and, and pulled it back up through the sheet metal. So, all right, it's not bad at all. And this, you know, just so you guys see, this is like some kind of brochure. It's not, that's not foam book paper, so it's, it's probably a regular sheet of paper, laminated. So it's, it's maybe a little bit easier to, to do this with than foam book paper or something, but yeah, you get an idea. It's, it's still a pretty good edge all the way almost to the tip. Alright, so I'll head back in the shop and I'll give you the specs. We'll get a tape measure out and take a look at what's going on. Alright, so here's the specs. This guy. So this is cutting edge. It's four inches. Blade width at its widest point is uh, one and three eighths, right at the top of that hump there. Uh, this part, by the way, I know you can see in the video, but it's incredibly comfortable. I mean, your thumb just naturally rests right in there. The overall length on this knife, uh, it would have been nine. <laughs> would have been nine that little tip came off and I want to give you a close-up there um, even after all that beating it's not like the tip snapped off it's more like it kind of we lost a real fine point right there but you know we just beat it through the tailgate of a Suburban so it's not too surprising um, the edge just give you guys a good look like I said, there is no chips. The edge did not chip at all. Um, there are a couple of small rolls right there. Where I pried upwards through the hood. Uh, so there you go. Give me a nice look at the handle. So I got on the bench here. I'll show you this. is what one of these guys looks like that hasn't been beat on. So there they are all pretty and shiny. And you can see a nice edge, tip, nice pointy tip. And you know, that tip, if you look, with the clip and everything, that's a nice 
meaty tip. That's going to last for anything that would be considered normal use um, or even hard use. You know, if you're out there really chopping stuff up, I don't think you're going to have a problem. If you look at the guard, it's one thing to notice. The production model's guard is a lot nicer. Uh, this is, you know, the, the very first one I made. This one's got a lot meatier of a guard, so when you get in there, I mean, it really, you know, if you're really pounding on something, it's not going to, you're not going to slip. You're not going to come up over the top of that. And then again, you can see, nice thumb right there get in there all right um, cpknives.com get you one of these